Hello farm friends! Today we are going to create a derpy doodle of an alpaca. All you need to begin is a piece of paper and a pencil. Okay, let's start with art. I'm going to be using a sharpie today so that you can see my drawing very clearly and I'm really excited about this derpy doodle. I'm a huge fan of alpacas in fact, we're hoping to um, maybe next spring or su summer add some alpacas to our farm. So um, that would be really exciting and I will definitely share that with you if that happens. But I think alpaca are really cool animals. So um, this alpaca kind of looks like a sheep, but it's a little different. Okay, they have a longer neck than a sheep. They have similar wool, similar fuzzy fiber that you can use to make things like sheep, but uh, they're shaped very differently than sheep. So we're gonna start with sort of an oval shape for the face of our alpaca. Like that, okay. Then we're gonna add um, a curved line, kind of like a really wide, stretched out U for the nose. Like that. And then to a line that goes down towards the chin. And another one like that to create the mouth. And now we'll add some derpy eyes. A big C shape for one with a little dot and a smaller C shape for the other with a bigger dot. Those are the derpy eyes that we um, create a lot when we're doing these derpy doodles. Now we're gonna make our alpaca look very fuzzy. So we're gonna create um, that textured look around your alpaca's face by doing that cloud line or that scalloped line. And it's really just a bunch of bumps or connected U's, the letter U, all the way around the face of your alpaca. Okay, and then we're gonna add some ears here, just kind of a curved line like that. Nothing too fancy. And like I said, an alpaca has a kind of a longer neck. So you wanna to try to definitely show that when you're drawing an alpaca. So we're gonna use that scalloped bumpy line again and come down from the head. And then we're gonna make a rounded body, like a cloud, all the way back to the neck. For the legs, we're gonna just do a slanted line down another slanted line down, have them meet with a little line and another line to show the hoof. And we're gonna do that again here. Slanted line down, another one here, meet with a little line and another line for the hoof. Now for the background for this alpaca, you can see I made these sort of wildflowers sort of thing. And I did that because we have a lot of those in our yard. They're these really pretty little flowers that are um, pink and they're small. And if you look closely at them, they're actually these tiny little round, berry looking sorts of things. So I thought, let's add that to our background. So to make them, I just did these very long lines, different sizes coming up in all directions on either side of the alpaca, okay? Then I drew my horizon line back here from one side to the other, just a wavy line. And I made some of those flowers back here too, but they're not as big, because they're kind of further away. So different size lines back there. And then to show the flower part, all I did was put some dots maybe three on some, two on some. Maybe some don't have any because they didn't start budding yet. And then when you color them,
You could color them pink or yellow, and then they'll really pop. So if you ever have to pause the video and then come back with us, that's great. That'll work for you, okay? So I hope you enjoyed making this derpy doodle of an alpaca. And remember, with art, you just have to start.